Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily business tips video. And in this video, I want to talk about how to become more disciplined. Now, the thing with discipline, right, that a lot of us miss is the foundation on which we lay it upon. The way you become more disciplined is by realizing ultimately what it is that you actually want, right? So uh, setting your goals, right? creating your vision, your mission, and your finding your purpose is really the key to actually being successful and in being able to become more self-disciplined. Because here's the thing, guys, using the willpower, right, doesn't work because willpower is kind of, it's energy, right? And the more willpower you use, the less you have. So you can't rely on willpower because there will be times when you're weak. So what it really comes down to ultimately is how, in terms of becoming more self-disciplined, is to really discover what your purpose is and then create your vision, your mission, and your goals from there, okay? So these five tips are going based off of that premise, okay? If you haven't yet created your vision, if you haven't yet uh, put together your mission and your state, your purpose and everything that is that you're doing, these five tips may not actually make any sense for you. Okay, so becoming more disciplined, tip number one, be emotionally engaged daily. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about touching a passion on a day-to-day -day basis. Doing this makes you naturally more disciplined. Why? Because it's easy to be disciplined when, you're, when you realize what it is that you're actually doing. When you're touching passions on a daily basis, when you're engaged with what it is that you're doing, you, you naturally become self-disciplined because you don't have to try and will yourself to do what it is that you're doing. When you have to will yourself all the time, again, you run out of that energy, you run out of that focus, and you aren't able to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. So engage emotionally with what it is you're doing if you can on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, for example, these live videos are huge in terms of emotional engagement. Hopefully you guys can see when I come on camera, right? I put in as much energy as I can. Even when I'm tired, even when I don't want to do it, when that camera comes on, I'm locked in and I'm trying my best with every ounce that I have to deliver a message with full engagement. I do the same thing when I write emails. I do the same thing when I write blog posts. I do the same thing when I write my value posts on Instagram and Facebook, right? It's the same thing. No matter what the platform is, I engage emotionally with what it is that I'm doing. All right, how to become self-disciplined, tip number two. So work before you react. This is a big one. There's a reason why that old saying out there, you know, uh, the early uh, early bird gets the worm, uh, why it is that people that, uh, that uh, rise early get ahead of the pack, right? There's reasons why those sayings are around. And the reasons are is because in our world today, especially with so many apps and so many ways to communicate, even though we suck at communicating now, there are so many distractions that are in place that we lose a lot of what it is that we're actually doing. We're constantly reacting to this notification. We're reacting to this email. We're reacting to this you know, Facebook message, this Instagram notification, this, inst this Facebook uh, notification. And look, that's just a challenge of, of that, that we have here in 2017. And we as a people, we react before we actually work. And we react, 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 react. I used to be guilty of this too, where at some point I'd even realize like 30, 40, 45 minutes would go by and I haven't done shit, right? That's <laughs> talk about losing uh, your self-discipline. That's it right there in a nutshell. And I know if I'm doing it, right? And I'm, I'm pretty focused, man. I'm pretty committed to what it is that I'm doing. So I know if I'm doing it, a lot of other people out there are doing it as well. So here's the thing. Again, we're not here to judge. I'm simply here to share with you the truth. Before you react, work. Get your work done, right? So for example, set out your most important things to start at the beginning of the day. So for example, like uh, live videos are really important. So I always make sure I get those in no matter what. So the moment I have a burst of energy, the moment I have an idea, I sit down and I shoot the video because that's when I'm most, tip number one, emotionally engaged. And that's when I can get the work done before I react to anything else, right? Say for example, your blog post is the most important thing for the day. That's going to take time. You need to research, you need to study, you need to sit down and write. There is no shortcut around it. Uh, so if you're sitting there reacting to any sort of notification that comes through your phone or your computer, bang, you've just lost 30, 40, 45 minutes. You're gonna lose momentum, you're gonna lose energy, you're gonna lose uh, self-discipline and self-focus, okay? That's tip number two. Tip number three on how to become more disciplined. Take action daily. 
Momentum is a huge thing in what it is that we do, and I'm, I'm learning this more and more. I never had this problem before because I used to just work, work, work. Every day, no matter what, I would at least do one thing that would improve whatever it is that I was focusing on, whether it was basketball, whether it was business, whether it was my health, i do something. Now, in the past six months, I've traveled to the Philippines three times, three weeks each time. And one thing I've learned is that it is really, really important to take action every single day based on what it is that your goals are, right? Again, guys, these, these are principles that I'm talking in terms of business tips, but they can be applied to anything that you want to. So taking action daily, even if it's just one or a small one, is going to help you maintain that momentum to keep you moving forward and keep you focused on what it is, or at least maybe not necessarily focused, but uh, your goal on the forefront of your mind, which is highly, highly important because you know what you think. Of, so what you think about most of the time is what you bring about most of the time. Okay. Tip number four on how to become more disciplined: focus on one thing. And when I say that, I'm not talking necessarily about hey, you know what, just sit around and think about you know getting a six pack, right? Or sit around and think about how you're going to go to the gym every single day. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about in whatever moment that you're involved in at that particular time, you lock into that one thing, that one thing that matters at that moment in time. Remember I mentioned earlier on, work before you react, right? So if when you wake up in the morning and the most important thing for you is to get out your blog post, right? To sit there and write a blog post that's 2,000 words. The way that you're going to get that done is to focus on that blog post. Cut everything else out. So if, for example, if you're sitting at your computer and you're doing it or your laptop or whatever, the phone maybe, right? Turn everything off, right? Except for what you need, which is probably Google, yeah? And your uh, WordPress website. You don't need Facebook, you don't need Instagram, you don't need YouTube, all right? Unless you're doing some research on YouTube. Don't get distracted by that shit either though, okay? That's one thing that YouTube can be a killer for is a time sucker, just like the rest of the social media platforms because that's what they're designed to do. So. Focus on the one thing that you need to do at that moment in time to take you one step closer towards whatever your goal is. For example, if your goal is to, to uh, focus on your health, right? If your number one goal right now is to drop 10 kgs, the one thing that you can maybe do right now is go for a walk, stretch, drink some water, prepare a healthy meal, right? If your goal, if you're number one, if you're focusing on business right now and your goal is to, is to build that $10,000 a month business, then you're, you're the number one thing that you might want to focus on right now could be your blog post, could be your live video, could be your Facebook value post, could be your email, right? That daily email or whatever. Maybe you're editing a video to put it up on YouTube. Whatever it is, whatever it is, try your best to make it a necessary required action, meaning something that you need to do in order to be successful and take the actual action, right? Focus on that one thing and that one thing only because you can really, you can't take step five at you know, the first go, you have to step, take step one, step two, step three, step four, and so on and so forth. Okay. Tip number five on how to become more disciplined is to reward yourself, right? This is a new one for me, me especially, because I'm, I'm of the, I'm of old school mindset, you know, delay gratification, you work, 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 and then the good will come. And yes, that's a mindset that you do have to have in order to get long-term success. Don't get me wrong. But one thing that I've really come to learn is that you need to reward yourself, especially at the beginning, if you're gaining momentum, right? I talked about momentum earlier on. And if you're working to gain momentum on to become more disciplined, then the way that you do that is with positive reinforcement. Hey, shit, you know what? I did well today. I knocked out the 15 tasks that I had on my list to get done. And, you know, 12 of those were necessary required actions. Great. Tonight, I'm going to chill the fuck out and watch this movie that I've been really wanting to watch for the last three weeks. Reward yourself. Now, I'm not saying reward yourself on a daily basis. I'm just saying when you're starting out, a daily basis, small thing, might not be such a bad thing. Have a cigar at the end of the day. Have a glass of wine, right? Go go out and, and, and do whatever it is that you want to do, right? Go to the gym if that's that's a reward, okay? Then once you get more more self-disciplined, then stretch it out. Stretch it out over a three-day plan, uh, three-day period, okay? So if over these three days, I, if I knock these things out, then I'm going to reward myself. I'm going to go out to dinner with my with my woman, I'm going to enjoy myself or, you know, with your husband, obviously, of all the ladies watching. So <clears throat> reward yourself and then it just continue to extend to the point where you're probably going to get to a point where you're going to be able to take action for a full month and not need to reward yourself because you naturally become more disciplined because you've gained that momentum. You've taken action daily. You've really started to hone in on what it is that you're actually doing. OK, so look, I hope you really enjoyed enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you with your business, your health, your relationships, whatever it is that's important to you. So I'm going to give you those five tips again really, really quickly. 
uh, on how to become more disciplined. Tip number one, emotionally engage uh, daily. Tip number two, work before you react. Tip number three, take action daily. Tip number four, focus on that one thing. And tip number five is to reward yourself for your hard work in terms of completing what it is that you've actually set out to complete. And again, remember that little asterisk that I put there. Make sure that they are necessary, required actions so that you're rewarding yourself for the proper behavior. All right, get those tasks in nice and early during the day when your willpower is still strong and leave those mundane, mindless tasks for later on in the day when, when, you're, when you run out of willpower, when you don't necessarily have the energy and you'll find yourself that you'll become more naturally disciplined simply because you're getting things done, right? And you're gonna really start feeling good as you start to reward yourself. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's business tips video. Peace out to you all. Enjoy the rest of the day and uh, I'll catch you in tomorrow's Business Boost video.